at first we will create one 3d object click here and select 3d modeling close this then click here and select ACI isometric then to shift this give UCS icon command UCS icon enter no region then we will create one cube obtain size click on box give the first corner point take your cursor away give the length of 10 tab 10 enter give the height of 10 enter zoom fit then we will create one cylinder on the top for that click here and select cylinder option just orbit a bit track the point and locate the center points give the radius of 5 give the height of 10 enter zoom fit then we will create one cylinder on this surface to change the plane click on view click here and select right plane you can click on home select cylinder give the center point give the radius of 5 take your cursor inside give the depth of 5 then we will merge this object using union click on union select all the object enter then in layout I want the view to be hidden click here and select 3d hidden then before creating dimension please ensure that you have selected any isometric view suppose from here I will select AC isometric view if you take views other than isometric views suppose if you orbit and adjust the view then dimensions will be wrong therefore ensure that you take any one of the these four isometric views then only dimensions will come correct then click on layout then we want to hide this rectangle for that we will create one layer give the layer command L A enter create new layer will keep the name as layer 1 then we will freeze this layer click here to freeze the layer then close this give the properties command PR enter then select this rectangle and from here you can change the layer to layer 1 click on close and close this also now that frame is not visible then we will give the dimension for dimension click on annotate and click here and select aligned as we are going to give the dimension for inclined line therefore we will select aligned here then give the first point give the second point give the location then enter again for this line enter for this line now as we know the distance was 10 but here it is showing different distance to show the 10 distance we will have to work out one scale factor that we will have to set in dimension style here we will have to increase the scale the original length here is 10 and now it is 8.165 so to work out the scale factor we will have to divide the 10 by this value so that we will get the scale factor we will work out the scale factor here scale factor will be 10 divided by 8.165 enter this is the scale factor click on edit copy click outside then to set this scale factor click here on dimension style click on modify click on primary units and here you will have to define the scale factor in measurement scale scale factor right click here and paste the scale then this scale is applicable only for layout therefore you can tick here also apply to layout dimensions only then click on ok click on close now it is showing the 10 properly then we don't need these four zeros and we want to do some settings also for that again we will go to dimension style modify then in text we will choose above I want ISO standard then in primary units I want single zero ok close then we will have to align this extension line with this line to align the dimensions you will have to use the isometric drawing concept now this is isometric view and if we draw here a horizontal line this angle will be 30 degree and this angle will be 30 degree that means this line will be at an angle of 30 degree this will be at a 90 degree and this line will be at angle of 150 that is 180 minus this 30 
Therefore, to align this extension line with this line, you will have to give oblique angle of 150 degree. To align this dimension, click on dimension, select oblique, select the dimension to align. Now this line will be aligned with this line, same way for this dimension also, this line will be aligned with this line. You can also select this dimension, enter, give the oblique angle of 150, enter. Now here one problem has happened. This has been aligned properly, but this is not aligned properly. We will just undo it. You will have to take one more care while aligning the dimensions. Click on the model. This UCS icon needs to be in word. Right now it is in right plane. We need it to be in the word. To change it to word, click on view. And from here, choose the word. Then only that oblique angle concept will work. Then click on layout again. Again click on annotate, select here and click on oblique. Then select this both dimension, enter, then give the oblique angle of 150, enter. Now it is properly aligned. Again oblique, select this dimension, enter. Now this extension line needs to be aligned with this line. This line is at 30 degree, give the oblique angle of 30 degree. Then we can also try one more dimension here for this line. Suppose we will give one more dimension, align first point, second point, location. Then to align this line with this line, we will have to give the oblique angle of 90. Click on dimensions, oblique, select this dimension, enter, give the oblique angle of 90. Then to give this radius dimension, you will have to use multi-leader. Click on multi-leader. I want to catch some point here. For that, I will shift right click. And we'll choose this nearest option. Click this nearest point. Take your cursor away. Click there. And I will type here R. I will make it caps lock. R5. And click outside. And if you want to show the line between, take the line command. I'll enter. And take your cursor on the circle to show the center point from this center to this end point. Escape. Same way you can give radius for this also. Leader. Shift right click nearest take the nearest point take your cursor away click type r5 click outside then create one line l enter from this point to center point escape then zoom extend that's all in this way you can give dimensions in layout for 3d object thanks for watching we will stop here